What's going on, family? How you guys doing? Oh, welcome, welcome. This is Polo Gold. Praise one, love one, God only, and welcome to Polo Gold Vision. That's right. Welfare check. This is Polo checking in with you guys. Hope all is well. So what is it? Today is the third day of November 2021. We're at the second to last month of the fourth quarter of 2021. What we have done up to now is preparing us for what's coming. So what have you been doing? What have you been letting go of? What have you been working on? Your body, your mind, your spirit. All that good stuff does count on a daily basis. Um, hope all is well with you guys and yours. And um, I'm just checking in with you guys, hoping that everything's well. Hope that you guys have a great thanks upcom- Thanksgiving day that's upcoming. But let's not just celebrate Thanksgiving day. That's, that day, how about every day? Every day, let's give thanks for the root that we have for the bed that we're able to sleep in, for the food we're able to eat, for people that we have in our lives that do care for us and love for us, for we are alive, for a lot of our brothers and sisters didn't make it to this point. A lot of our brothers died last year, last night. They're gonna die tonight. Hopefully I'll make it to to the, to the back to my house tonight and be able to rest and then wake up tomorrow. If I do, what a privilege and blessing that that, that is, you know what I mean? Um, let's give thanks every day because we're able to wake up and choose and decide what we're going to do and what we're not, not going to do, what thoughts we're going to fill up our minds up with and what thoughts we're not going to fill up our minds up with, how we're going to react and how we're not going to react. And uh, no matter what, let's keep in mind and give thanks that it's a work in progress, that we're not here to be perfect or to get everything done right the first time, that we're going to fail our way to success by trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. And the beautiful thing is that we all have issues. I have issues, you have issues, we all have issues. And that's what life is, is about. Life is a big old school, an institution. It's a, it's a, it's a school, okay? And the best, the best lesson is my last mistake that I made. And what can I, if I, if I look at it like a, a setback to set me up for what's to come, that's the best way to look at it, you know what I mean? Now, I wanna talk to you guys about my imagination your imagination the word imagination and the power that comes with imagination uh for there to be planes the wright brothers imagined because they were tired of having to go from here to there from the east coast to the west coast would you say per se that um on on a plane or i mean driving and how long it took so you know we're gonna fly and people thought that they were crazy and they were like flying is only for birds but yet, because of their imagination that they plugged into, they were able to were able to now be able to fly from here to London, from here to Tokyo, from here to Paris, from here to the East Coast to the West Coast in a matter of hours, right? And uh, then someone imagined a car, and now we have all kinds of cars: the table that you sit down and eat with, the 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 mug, the coffee mug that you choose to use to drink tea, coffee, or water, or milk, or what have you. Someone imagined it. Everything was imagined first in the eye. I mean, in the mind's eye, in the imagination of our mind. Okay, and everything that comes through our imagination, it's it's a preview of what's, of what's to come, and that's what Albert Einstein said. Our imagination is a preview of what's to come and what we can have, as long as we believe. Okay. Now I'm going to go through scripture. In the Bible, there's, there's, there's two sayings or two scriptures. One says, you have not because you ask not. And then the other one is, whatever you ask, you shall receive. Okay. So if I start thinking about that, then I can reflect on my part and what I did during my life. And whatever, whatever I'm going to share with you guys has nothing to do with what I've done in my life. But it's only a living testimony of how great God is of how great God is, of how great, man, how amazing he is, and how, how, I'm just amazed how awesome you are, Father God, thank you for bolding me and guiding me and chiseling away all my character defects on a daily basis, includes my fears, my fears to try something new, my fears to, 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 to get in a relationship, I'm okay, brother, thank you so much, thank you, brother, have a blessed night, all right, you're awesome, bro. Um, I don't worry, I got it. You're awesome, bro. Thank you. Be safe. See what I mean? If I don't put my safe self out here and I just live in fear, then I won't be able to share the message. I won't, I won't be able to share the light and travel and travel and affect others, right? But it's all in my mind. You know what I mean? So when I was lost, 
I was filling up my mind with thoughts of uh, I'm a loser, I suck, I can't believe this, how does this happen, I'm a failure, I'm a failure, I suck, I effed up again, I messed up again. So then I stayed in that loop, in that loop of a pity party, oh poor me, and then the questions I was asking was why does this happen to me, why, oh poor me, and I didn't realize that we all have issues. And we're all going through issues on a daily basis. We all are, you guys. Okay, so then the moment that I decided after I walked away from that deadly car accident where I saw death and I faced death and I saw death eye to eye, okay, that day I realized, wait a minute, I'm going to see death again. So for what I do from September 22nd, 2012 until I meet death again, I'm going to make this day count. So I'm going to believe and I'm going to I'm going to realize that I'm going to fail my way to success. For me to get to that point, I failed a lot, you guys, and I continue to do so. Yes. But now I'm going to tap into my imagination. So my imagination is to be light to this world, to bring hope to as many people in the families that I can, starting with myself, my family and everybody and, and all in the communities. My my imagination is telling me that I'm going to retire my parents and give them the, retire, the retirement that they deserve because they spoiled me rotten. They gave me an upbringing that was just amazing. So I'm going to imagine that, right? So then I say, God, I'm going to ask God. I'm going to ask so I will have. See, if I don't ask, then I will not have. If I don't ask to have, then I will have not. I will not have nothing. So God, take away all my fears. Take away all my worries, all my cares, all my burdens, everything that's overwhelming, everything that stops me, stops me, everything that limits me, everything. Take it away. So I could then focus on what I need to do, which is glorify you and fill me up with your infinite spirit of peace, love, joy, attitude of gratitude. Uh, help me to be slow to anger, slow to react, and be quick to think and quick to listen. Help me to walk through my life lighthearted and carefree, knowing all is well. Okay? And then... By me asking, then I will receive it because I'm plugging into that way of thinking. And then what happens? I'm going to start going ahead and being more outgoing, be more mm, extroverted, being more daring, being more to live life. And then before my gift, my precious gift was way over there hidden in the darkness. But now I realize that my gift every day that I wake up is in my hands. So every day I choose to unwrap it take the lid off and dig deep and get to know my virtues my powers my gifts that were given to me god given gifts that was given to you as well each day and dig it and, and get to find them and part of that is my imagination so now let's go biblical on this faith faith is having hope right having hope strong hope so much hope that believing in something even though it's not there so i don't want to wait to see it to believe it Especially if I have a cane, I can't see it. I'd rather believe it before I see it. There I already have it. So I hope on that. I base my hope on that and my heart and my mind. So that way when I ask, I'm going to ask big. Why not? Because I'm going to do everything big just to glorify God. Everything I'm going to do through and with God just to glorify you, Father God. Okay? So it's using the power of my imagination, our imagination. But what do I got to do first? I got to surrender. I got to seek God's kingdom. I got to rely and depend on God's understanding, not mine. And when I'm weak, God makes me strong because I no longer depend and rely on my strength, but I now depend on God's strength. And that is a beautiful thing. That is a very beautiful thing. Because I could be walking in the darkest alleys, in the street or in my mind. But as long as I rely on God, then He gives me the light and He fills me up with the light of peace and hope and abundance and thinking of abundance and tapping into my imagination where I cannot create an in lim uh, unlimited possibility and realities taking care of my personal reality. Because don't forget, my personality will determine my personal reality. So if I ask, then I will have. And whatever I ask, I will... I will receive because I can do anything through God. I can do anything through Jesus Christ that dwells within me. And there's no weapon formed against me that shall ever prosper. And if there's no enemy within me in my mind, then the enemy outside could do me no harm. 
I'm going to try things and I'm going to do things and if I fail, I'm going to fail my way to success and that's what I love. So here we go. I'm going to share something with you that I've been working on. Here we go. I am free. Thanks to God Almighty. I'm a king. I'm a champ. I'm royalty. I'm blessed and unstoppable to God be the glory. Praise one. Love one. God only. That's right, champs. So I pray that you are tapping into your imagination. I pray that you use every second of every day of your life to go ahead and discover what your talents are, what your gifts are. Get to know them. And I pray that when you feel that fear, then you tap into that courage. And courage is, does not mean there's absence of fear. Courage is when you still feel fear. When you still feel fear, you still go through it courageously and conquer it. So let's go do this, chance. Let's get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Let's knock it out the park, champs. And don't forget, I believe in you and I'm very proud of you. Mwah. Blessings.